Hello, third grade, Mr. Mush here. So this week we are gonna make a color wheel, all right? And we're actually gonna do it by using a white paper plate, all right? If you don't have a white paper plate, all you have to do is one extra step, and that's this. Get a piece of paper, put your name on it, and your extra step is just draw a big circle like this. Okay, that's the only extra step you have to do. I'm gonna use the plate for the rest of the lesson. So if you don't have a plate, get a piece of paper, draw a big circle, and still follow along, okay? So here's my plate. We need to divide our color wheel into 12 sections. So before we get started, I want you to put a giant dot in the middle of your plate or in the middle of your circle, okay? Just like that. And then you're always gonna make sure your ruler, you need a ruler for this project, Make sure your ruler goes over your dot like this. And I'm gonna draw it going down like that. And I'm gonna go the opposite way. So we're like kind of making a big T like that, okay? So right now we have one, two, three, four sections or fourths if you're working on your fractions, okay? Next we're gonna do another cross. So I'm gonna do one here and I'm gonna do one here. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do two more. I'm gonna do a line going across from here. So what helps me remember is I have one, two, three, four on top, one, two, three, four on the bottom. So I'm gonna take this one and this one on the diagonal and do it like this. And I'm gonna do the opposite way like this. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 slices. Now what I want you to do is I want you to number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's very important and you're gonna see why in a second, all right? So if you have paints, this project is a lot of fun to do with paints. I'm gonna do it with crowns because I'm not sure if you have paints at home, but if you have paints, mixing the paints together is really cool, all right? So we're gonna do the primary colors and the secondary colors, the regular colors. So if you have those color crowns, markers, paints, you're gonna use those. But then we're gonna use the primary and secondary colors and we're gonna mix them to make our tertiary colors. All right, so number one is gonna be red. So get a red crown and shade it in red like this. And I'm going, if you have a plate, go all the way to the edge. If you're drawing a circle, make sure it goes all the way to the edge of your circle, just like this, all right? There's one. Now, we're gonna go directly across to number seven. Okay, number seven is red's best friend. It's complement, which is the color green. So we're gonna color number seven in green. Okay. Okay, that's why at during the holiday season you see a lot of red and green because it looks good together, okay? All right, now we're gonna go to, let's see, Let's see, let me see. Green. All right, we're gonna go to number nine. All right. And number nine is blue. So shade in number nine, blue. Okay. And blue's best friend is orange. So go to number three and shade number three in orange because they are best friends, just like that. All right. And then we're gonna go to number five and we're gonna shade that in yellow, okay? Because we're doing the primary colors first. So number five is yellow. Okay, and across from five is 11. 11 should be purple. 
Okay. Now, now we have the primary and secondary colors. It looks good. Now, in between the primary and secondary colors are the tertiary colors. And to get tertiary colors, you have to blend primary and secondary colors. Okay? So, with that being said, number two would be what tertiary color? Usually, you should look at the colors that are beside it. That will tell you the answer. It's going to be red, orange. Now, if you have a red orange crown, you can feel free to use it, or if you want to try and mixing it, mix red and orange together and see what happens, whether you're using paints. If you're using paints, I definitely suggest using red and orange to mix. If you're not, if you want to use, um, if you want to use it, um, if you want to use the the crowns that say red orange things like that you can so there i mixed red and orange to get red and orange so i'm going to do we move on to number four orange and yellow make orange yellow or yellow orange so i'm going to mix a little bit of yellow and then i'm going to take some orange and there's my yellow orange so now we're going to do yellow green, yellow, green. So I'm going to take yellow again and I'm going to mix some green in there. Okay. We have green and blue, so it's going to be blue, green. So I'm going to take some green I'm going to mix it together, get the blue, green. All right. Number 10, blue, purple. It's going to be blue, purple. So I'm going to mix some blue. And I'm going to take some purple and we're going to mix it together just like that. And then my last one, red, purple. So it's going to be red and purple just like that. And there you go. You have your color wheel. Okay, so remember, if you have paint, use them. And uh, if you have the crowns, just do what I just did. Mix them together and it'll still work. And if you don't have a plate, just draw a circle on a paper and just follow along with the steps. All right, so I hope you have fun with this third grade. And until next time, take care.